Well, hello, hello. How is it going? Welcome to Streaming Ray. My name is Ray, and well, uh, before we get into the game proper, um, I kind of wanted to talk about something that happened to well, uh, me last week uh, with the encoder. I think I finally have it figured out. So I apologize if the stream is lower resolution than usual. Call it an experiment, but uh, I wanted to see if the frame rate was more stable at a 720p versus 1080p because I've been doing a little bit of research and I figured out that's what the issue was or, or a likely cause I should say given that I'd already been in max performance my bit rate is lower all that stuff so uh, with that uh, we will be finding out tonight if that is the case and if not we'll be we still have another piece of the puzzle right so, um, before we get started into or the roulettes, um, let me find a better video for this because I kind of want to have a, um, uh, where have I got no music, do I? Um, uh, okay, is... It could just be because it's the mids and mass, but I'm definitely noticed it's not a stream issue, it's in-game performance issues. Um, so... Uh... This person is messaging me. Uh, hold on. Uh, no idea who that person is, but, uh... uh are they on my friends list? The name is not familiar to me. My dark... 
Uh, that name is not familiar to me. I'll be nice and friendly for for a little bit, but uh, anywho, um, yeah, I've just random friend requested messages and game kind of threw me for a loop, but um, so anyway, like I was like I was saying before uh, before we got a uh, or so friendly or interrupted on that, and, um. So yesterday, um, a, f a friend of mine, uh, uh, well, yeah, some stuff came up uh, during her stream that was, how shall we say, interesting. Um, it, to say interesting, I mean, it came up over some stuff that really was kind of nonsensical, to put it lightly. Um, and by nonsensical, I mean... It's one of the things that I'm pretty sensitive of as a content creator myself, and that's over criticism. And this isn't to disparage the the person that uh that this all stemmed from, because I honestly don't know like what their average product was like. It's no disparage to them. It's just my first impression as a viewer, and basically their audio ran the gambit. It, we had one end that was whisper quiet. You can barely hear them like this. And the next minute, they were booming so loud, or because of an SFX, that it was quite literally uh, or rattling windows. Uh, hold on. Anywho, uh, let's see if this yeah person's not in front of me. Cool. Uh, yeah, I I have names off for that reason. Just make sure it's kind of more of an organic conversation. But uh, but yeah, um, uh, and that's kind of where this all started. Is that they they were invited on to or to a stream so they could do an interview. I mean. Pretty normal stuff when you're starting to be a little bit of a bigger creator. You're starting to get a name out there. You're starting to get a lot more uh, notoriety. Uh, so, uh, obviously not that big of an issue. I mean, for obvious reasons. But, uh, when this person... Well, there were no names mentioned, of course, in the Discord. The only reason I knew is because that I was asked to kind of you know, sit in on it. You know, kind of be that, that ninja eye out. And that's how I discovered the audio issues in this person's stream. I was like, oh god, why? And, like I said, I don't know if that's his average product. It's just that's a first impression as a viewer that those audio issues would make me not want to go back. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, anywho, um, so, um, so this person, well, not this person, but the team this person's on, um, some stuff came up, and it became not just, uh, an issue between two fellow creators, but it kind of blew up into a community event for them that negatively impacted for the community for this, the streamer that was interviewed. And that's kind of where my issue where it comes in. 
Don't do that as a community. Don't do that as a community leader. It does not look good. Like, that is something that you really need to keep one-on-one -on -one between you and the other person you have an issue with. Because when you start bringing in your community or and having all sorts of problems, or and you start initiating things like hate raids, then that makes you look bad as the community leader. It makes your community as a whole look bad. And it gets a whole lot of people banned over nonsense. And it could have just been easily have or taken care of by that, that or one DM is it could have just been ended with one simple question. I, or I heard about I heard about the feedback. I don't really like the feedback. What gives? And you're having an adult conversation about it. But that isn't how it went down. We do have receipts to prove this, and it's being handled through the appropriate channels. But and I'm not going to name the names of either community or or either community involved. Just one is a good friend of mine, and the other was the first impression. That's as far as I'm going to go with the details on that front. But as a community leader, please be mindful of what you're engaging your community to do, because that is going to make a lot of difference. And as a buddy community leader myself with 16-bit heroes i want the community to be truly helpful and uplifting which is what this one community that initi initiated this uh, nonsense claimed to be and they may genuinely be but that's not how they appear and impressions matter when you are getting new eyes on your product i mean that's just being real so uh with that um okay so let let's uh now let's go ahead and accept this stuff and what well, okie dokie so, all right so let's get into some roulettes we're going to kick off with expert Uh, so, uh, our game plan for today is we're going to do some roulettes. Um, hopefully, RNG will be in our favor and give us some pretty good drops. If not, um, that is perfectly okay. Uh, we are still going to do our best. And um, Okay, between dungeons, um, since I realized last week that I completely forgot to do it, it's questions of the day. So, I want to answer one for everyone last week and one for today. Here we go. Ah, it's been a while since I've done this one. But uh, this is one of my favorite ones. Bring a uh, stigma escape. Appropriate to uh, discoverability on. Oh, that's the title I want to get to the Goddess of War. Uh, yeah, that is exactly what we are working on, or overall, is to get that title, because it requires every job, or in the combat area, that's not a spellcaster, to be level 70. And I have all the three at at least level 70 at this point. So I'm definitely going to be working on that over the next uh, for a couple of months, and it's probably going to take me just that long to get there. I got aggro on something. Well, they, they don't like me. Alright. 
Alright, so first or first segment down and see if I can remember these boss fights. Oh, Nito! Oh, where's my mouse? Oh, there's my mouse. Okay. Where's my mouse? Maybe my monitor's a tad too big. If I'm keeping these on my mouse. <laughs> but, yeah, I gotta get those toadstones. Yeah! Ride. Gotta love that song. Or and what they say is, I'm gonna actually have to like do a, a tier list of the Final Fantasy soundtracks, which ones I liked, which ones I don't as much. I still, I like them all. Let's be real. But yeah, making a tier list would be pretty cool. That kind of music, like okay, so maybe like game soundtracks that I think are iconic. Switch to single target. Excellent. Alrighty, well, you run on ahead and do your thing. Alright, and about 8 o'clock or so, I'm gonna need to do a little something to get up the 
although it's a person we're going to raid, and uh, I'm kind of a mod you for another channel or that, uh, that I'm on. Because it's kind of related to what happened last night, and uh, I just kind of want to make sure that I'm getting ahead of that game instead of playing catch up. Because, uh, yeah, no one wants to really play catch up. Oh, this one. Gotcha. Nice. But we got this thing. Yeah. Yeah, you know, well, this is actually got to put the uh, my Japanese variant logo or on the stream. Cause, yeah, the old logo looks cool, but I kind of want to you know, spice it up every now and then. Oh, on that note, um,. Or I have refreshed my YouTube channel. I actually need to put the link to it in the panels. I don't know if I have or not, but uh, if you want to check that out, you know, I'll definitely be posting bots over there. Uh, that's actually what I want to start working on, like immediately after the stream. Is starting to get uh, bots ported over there, and if nothing else, it'll be a replay channel. The beta invaders should be going down any minute. Yeah, I just realized Wisebot hasn't chimed in, but I've actually disabled it, so that's a good thing. Yeah, I kind of missed the uh, been up for so many for so many things, but it's kind of better. I don't know. You know, I really need to get night bot spun back up. Hey, yeah, I think I'll do that real quick right after the stream though, get night bot or set back up. Cause I, cause I actually do need like a like a moderated bot, and night bot I believe is gonna be my best bet for that.
All right, here we go. Yeah. All right. And the big eyeball. This is actually going really fast. Aha, I gotcha. Give that to the Astro and pass on this stuff because I legit do not need it. Alrighty, cool. Alrighty, our one obligatory roulette's down. So, uh, next up, uh, okay, between dungeons, uh, question of the day. What was your recurring nightmare? Uh, that's going to be kind of an interesting one. Um, so, my recurring nightmare is. Everything I've been doing here literally having no purpose at all, and generally streaming not being a worthwhile venture for anybody, and that's kind of a it's kind of a misnomer nightmare that obviously I know it's a completely bogus nightmare because obviously streaming's had a huge impact on a lot of people, and it's especially the last couple of years it's helped a lot of people get through or this stuff both financially and mentally. So obviously streaming is a good thing. It's given it's given a lot of people a voice that it otherwise might not have had a voice, being able to share their vision, their unique or take on things, or love of video games. All that stuff matters because well, we're all well most of us behind this stuff. I mean, not me. I'm a Neko, but a lot of a lot of streamers are humans. So I mean, even Neko still need that mental help, or every now and then, and streaming's part of it. 
Alrighty, so now to level him. Um, so this is kind of like my bread and butter. In my RP, this is my class. Yeah, I have the book. I am a scholar in RP. Like that's just the character of Ray. She she's very studious, very academic, and that is the character that she's playing here. So. Uh, excuse me. Uh, with that, let's see what we can get into. Uh, I don't need the fishing log. I'm not going fishing. At least not yet. Maybe later, but not right now. So, oh, main scenario. Guaranteed EXP. We'll, we'll take it. Definitely not a full level, but it'll knock out a good chunk of a level. Alrighty. Oh, this is the first time I've had this in a while. Figures it happened when I almost stream. Uh, there'll be plenty of time to answer questions in these normally, but I don't think I'm gonna have movie time. They don't like me. They don't like me. They don't like me. I really wish I had uh, my big, bigger heels. I think I got my groove. And no encoder overloading, no frames being dropped. I like those stats. Alrighty, next group. I'm no, I'm still not used to these new versions of these. And I am so used or to just running through this whole thing, pulling the whole damn thing, and it just it's being killed right there at the gate. Not that you actually have to kill it, but that it goes. Oh, hey Darth, how's it going? How's your night going? Uh, yeah, uh, I changed a few things for the encoder to make, see if it's not overloading. So, how's it look on uh, on your side? Uh, it's 720. Like, cool. So, yeah, after the encoder overload for uh, the flight stream, uh, I decided to uh, yeah make a few changes, and uh, I'm glad to work it out. Okay, I don't know why I did that, but... Uh, okay, so... Place the fairy... Alrighty, that should free me up. Uh, all these ads! Why are all these ads here? Come on! Here, Colossus. Too many of you. Oh, that's what I forgot. I forgot my egg. Alrighty, 
There we go. Oh, thank you, fairy. That's the one thing about Scholar I really like is that is that a uh, very automatic heal. It's like a heal turret. Only look probably a little bit better. Get one top off. Pop off the tank. Yeah, I'm surprised they trust me to heal in this game. It's, I'm not a good healer. <laughs> eh, not worth it for shield. And now we go. Now we take ourselves out because we're the garbage. <laughs> They don't actually let us go down the garbage chute. Aww. It's only like my second or third time running this dungeon since they did the or the rework. And oh man, do I enjoy the rework so much better. Is it actually goes quicker. Like there's a lot less just random all trash mobs to go through. You just go through, do your thing, you have to take a whack at the ball, sit your goal. Oh boy. Explosions! <laughs> they know better say it's a military base. This would be kind of chaotic. Smack the doit. Alright. No, I do not want to stay in the goop. Thank you. And my shoes are plenty dirt dirty enough from the ground. I miss actually going out there blowing the stuff up. This guy's actually gonna have mechanics. I, I gotta remember that. Like, instead of them just being random, just heavy hitting or do random stuff, you, like, you actually have to account for mechanics now. Well, let's show the tank. Now, so that's a new one, or the uh, the safety ring. Well, I, like that's uh, that that particular pattern I've seen nowhere else in the game. So that's kind of like a new new concept they're bringing in. I can't wait to see it actually get used in higher raids.
Oh, my fairy was not placed. That's kind of distressing. Take, didn't take a hit on that one, thankfully. Oh, right, I forgot. I needed to configure uh, Nightbot since I kicked Wisebot. Said for moving. And I still kept the old map, even though they cut off parts of it or from access. That's pretty funny, I think. Oh, these guys. Time to dot these guys. That's why I couldn't control the minion, because the minion literally was uh, taken a nap. <laughs> yeah, leave me to a fairy to want a nap on the job. It's not napping anymore. What is this? Oh, uh, Sid's so actually got a purpose now? I still remember having to go up there and actually take it, take out the generators. All that firepower and Sid struggling to take down an inanimate object. Meantime, the Colossus is trying to kill us and getting complete and is completely getting demolished. Ah, there it goes. <laughs> He's diverting all power to cannons. Aha! Fire! 
Let's head ahead and three. They only have one now. That that's. Uh, they, they they must have cast from centuries budget right after the last time we demolished it. <laughs> and what was actually taken up with you? You and the power you possess, the echo. Naturally, I could not help but wonder whom this princess among or women were. We discover you are but another adventurer, no better than the multitude. Yet in spite of this, the masses hold you their champion and shower honors upon your head. It defies all reason. Maybe so. How is it you ha how is it you have be such a thorn in our side? Wherever you appear, you leave havoc in your wake. You even slew Ritalin, one of our best. Well, I speak well, I will not speculate too be told. I couldn't care how less you have done these things. What matters is the fact that you have. I paraphrase the last part there. If you're allowed to continue, you will eventually deprive me of all that I have toiled for, all that is mine by right. My minions, my comrades, even my lord Gaius. But you cannot have him. Um, I don't really want him. His dreams and ambitions, his body and soul, they are mine, do you hear? All mine! I lost everything once, but I will not suffer it to happen again. Well, I think she's a little on the crazy side. I won't kill you, adventure. Only your death can bring me peace. Well, if you're not going to be very peaceful, then are you? <laughs> She's actually a mechanic, so I gotta remember that. Dude. Oh, right, Red Mage. Red Mage cannot move all that efficiently, or just because of the way their kit is at this level. The, oh, yeah. I, I want to know what those are. Like, are those monk weapons? If they are, I, I kind of want to get them. You know, that'd be pretty awesome. You punch someone, they you get a gunshot to the face. Everything nice. Uh, that red mage jumping in and out. <laughs> uh oh, there she going loco again. Here we go. 33 percent yeah, she'll be down in no time. And I'll still have 15 minutes left on my egg. <laughs> oh, there she goes. I guess maybe the two waves cancelled out? I'm still not really sure how standing between those works, because every hiring content, that does not work. Oh, 
but she still has to die, die, die. And uh, nope, I will not do the Reaper thing. I will not die, die, die. Ooh, I actually got that bonus. Now it's still a half level. Not bad at all. Oof, well, they already left, so there you go, one, two. Ah, still that. I'm really glad they reworked those dungeons because, oh man, they used to be so freaking. They were so awful. Like, it took almost a full hour to get through those dungeons. Uh, now they're divided up into two shorter dungeons, and part of it's now a trial, which is really freaking awesome. So, oh, that reminds me. Uh, we're going to go check on something before we queue up for our next one. Oh yeah, and question two, because I forgot every stream last week. What's the worst job you've ever had? Um, that's kind of relative. Uh, uh, by one I enjoyed the least, it was doing call center work. I, I dread being in the call center. I don't like a bunch of phones ringing. I don't like answering, like, hundreds of calls a day. But, like, it, it, it paid the bills, but it is, it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah. It is not a job I wish to go back to at any point in time. Uh, I would rather uh, pull my own teeth. Just being completely real. Uh, hold on, my dog is not uh, doing too hot. Stand by. Sorry about that. Oh, but, uh, yeah. Alright, so, Southwestern. Uh, I don't know if they've released or let plots be, uh, purchased yet, but it never hurts to check, right? Currently unavailable. Uh, uh, hopefully they reopen the lottery soon, because I, I really want this, this specific plot. And you can see why the view is just stellar. But, but I really want this plot because I mean, it's right on the coast with a private beach. Only one actual neighbor. <laughs> oh, well, no, that's that's just a bonsai tree. So okay, so one actual neighbor. Um, or a path between us and the other house. And a little uh, tiki stand right here on the beach. So, like, to me, this is a dream plot. And one day it will be mine. Okay, so we're halfway through level 88. Um. Oh, uh, okay, we're not gonna do that. Um. Uh, let's go to Rods and Han and start doing uh, the uh, the, ca the caster side quest because uh, we're we're summoner and that starts at level eighty five and that'll give us uh, some free free exp. Okay, where am I going? Oh yeah, uh, it's old Charlian, but I need Ilsabar. Yep, Rods and Han. that back in the question bank and that we used three more for last week and today so oh it's raining here neat oh well, I'm gonna need to upgrade my uh or my summoner here Oh, right, right, right. Uh, we're going to the hull. A bond eternal. But the eternal bonding ceremony. Operation Ring Retrieval. Uh, nope. 
the our aching hearts with the the radiant hosts. Yeah, level 80, level, oh god, level 70, level 80, level 80. Uh, st oh my god, I am in all, almost all level 80 gear. That is not good. Oh boy. Oh right, I went to the wrong door. Ah! <sighs> Uh, before we get started in this quest proper, I will definitely upgrade my gear because, yeah. Oh, so let's hunt us a blasphemy. The Ishgardian delegate seeks a battle mage with courage unwavering. Ah, my lady Ray, I have awaited your coming. The phenomenon wherein men turn into monsters, it pains to say, it pains to say that Ishgard has not been spared. A, dread, a dreaded blasphemy has appeared in the Holy See, and to compound the people's horror, the beast resembles a dragon. It is imperative that the vanquished, or that it be vanquished without delay, and to that end we have begun assembling a hunting party. Given that fear and despair may turn our allies against us, we are being stringent in who we choose for this duty. Yet, while we have confidence in the quality of our knights, the mission would greatly benefit from the presence of a battle mage, one who can stand unflinching in the face of our fell quarry. We would be hard-pressed to find an individual that fits that description better than you. Will you not lend us your strength and skill? Uh, I should say, oh, very well. But I'll, I'll be nice and say, oh, you can count on me. Because that is probably how Ray would actually respond, considering she doesn't really know this guy. For Sir Amrick, it'd have been like, oh, very well then. But we are in your debt. Just a moment while I relay the glad tidings to command. It is settled. Upon arriving at Ishgard, please take yourself to the Aetherite Plaza. Lord Artwell will, will be there to receive you. May the Fury speed your way. Looks like we're going back to the cold climbs of Ishgard. Which means we'll have uh, good access to our market board and we can refresh our gear. Well, it's level 85, so we might be able to be okay. Um, we'll see when we get to Ishgard. Ooh, that's a steep, steep price for transport. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, uh, there it is. R12. Ah, good to see you, R12. Ray, I've been expecting you. Words cannot well express how heartening it is to have you fighting beside us. It's good to be back. Allow me to echo that sentiment. Ah, Sir Amrick. The greetings, my friend. Lest you wonder, Lord R12 and I are leaving the effort to deal with the blasphemy. With your capable self in the fold, I have no doubt we shall succeed. Take it. You try. <laughs> Without further ado, I shall brief you on the situation. It was a handful of days after the first beasts appeared in Razathan. An Elizan man was observed at the hoplon in the pillars, walking with an unsteady gait. All of a sudden, he buckled over as if in pain, and before anyone knew what was happening, he had transformed into a terrible draconic beast. At the mere sight of this, many who chanced to be present also turned, and regrettably the Temple Knights were forced to put them down. The blasphemy itself, however, took wing and fled. 
Profane Fanf or Fafnia, we have chosen to call it, after the dragon men of Ishgod myth. Since that day, the beast has oft been sighted in the skies above Ishgod. It does not attack, only circles menacingly for a time ere disappearing again. Alas, these brief visitations are enough to cause more people to turn, and for fear and panic to spread further. As part of our investigation, we have sought to identify the man who became the blasphemy, but thus far we have learned not. We, we have, however, identified a common threat or thread between those who subsequently turned. All were people of fervent faith. People such as priests and inquisitors. Can't be coincidence. When the truth of our nation's history was laid bare, the legitimacy of the church was called into question. Many Ishgardians struggled to reconcile the revelations with their beliefs, and none more so than the, pi the pious, which men and women we posit or would be susceptible to despair, and therefore the transformation. We must find a way to stop it. Ishgard has only just emerged from a thousand year war, and we cannot suffer another great tragedy, much less so soon. I'll do my best to help. In order to attain a better understanding of the situation, we intend to speak with a member of the clergy. The sole individual who survived witnessing the blasphemy's birth without being turned. For Clem is his name. And he is a deacon at St. Ramon's Cathedral. Come, let us seek him out there at once. Seems like a reasonable plan. Alrighty, and let's hit the cathedral. At the cathedral. Alrighty, and my dog apparently wants to go out, so give me just a moment. We'll be back in a minute.
Alrighty, we are back, and let's uh, get moving. Alrighty, not well. Yeah, here he is, Deacon Clem. Let's see what he can tell us. Not so, not so very long ago, few would have imagined Escadian knights marching beyond the bounds of their own dominion. But we have ventured to the heart of Garlemald and fought, no less, or fought for no less than the fate of the world itself. A nation has changed and continues to do so. Alrighty, uh, our, our Deacon Clem, let's see what you got to tell us. Lord Amarek, Lord Latwell. The savior of Ishgard besides. You do me great honor. I am Clem. I serve as deacon here at St. Ramal's Cathedral. I understand you were among those at the Hopland when the incident occurred. We give thanks to the Fury for your merciful preservation. We, n we now seek to prevent the blasphemy from wreaking further havoc would appreciate any details you can provide. Both, though, we ought to make you recall unpleasant memories. But you not recount to us what you witnessed that day. Very well. Yeah. We are presently relocating the vault's libraries to the cathedral. In case you are unaware, we had finished delivering a batch of tomes and we are on our way to... Ver to bring over another. As we approach the Hoplon, we notice the young man walking to it un walking unsteadily. No sooner than he had come to an abrupt halt than he transformed into a draconic beast. The fiend fixes us with, with a menacing glare, and it was all we could do to find our wits and flee. But to my compounding horror, my brethren, who were with me, began turning into the monstrosities as well, one after another. Praise the fury that you at least were spared, Deacon Clem. I cannot imagine how frightening the experience must have been. You? The Inquisitors. Bishop Vartois. Vartina. Forgive me if I interrupt. I was informed that Astellward protectors were present and I wish to express my gratitude. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for your service. I pray that we shall soon be free of this scourge. Indeed, if there is aught we might do to aid your efforts, you need but say it. You are most kind, your friend. Charming fellow, that one. Th that was Bishop uh, Vartino. The head of St. Romanel's and a member of the Synod. With the seat of the Archbishop vacant, he is, in effect, the highest authority of the Ascardian Orthodox Church. This is so, in spite of his elevated station, he remains as kind and humble as a man, a man as any I have ever known. Like his grace, I would do all that I can to help shepherd our people through this uncertain time. To that end, there is a request I would make of you, if you could spare a moment to consider it. Of course. Of course, if it is within our power, we should be glad to offer you aid. Thank you. Alright, did you see anything? The deacon was no less terrified by the blasphemy than his peers, yet he alone did not turn. 
By what grace was he spared? What manner of request could this be? His tone bespeaks urgency. In the wake of the transformations, a group of clergymen fled the city in fear. Yet they sought, yet they sought refuge in the wilderness. For they put themselves at the mercy of the elements and fell fiends both. Given that the cause of the transformation is not clear, I think theirs was a decidedly unwise decision. I wish to set out and find them, but I am not trained in the ways of war. As such, I require those who are to accompany me to the, in the search. So that is the way of it. Suffice it to say, we will help. Do you know uh, whither your fellows may have headed? The, the Western Highlands, I do believe, are between the Gorgane Mills and Hemlock. There is no shortage of abandoned dwellings in the area. Very well, time being of the essence, I propose we split up and scour separate areas. Ray, if you could escort the good deacon to Gorgane Mills, Lord Atwala and I will attend to the hemlock. Very well, sir, Emily. We shall go. But first, I'm making a stop by the market board. Because I need new equipment. And I don't want to die! Well, actually, if I can survive this and get one more level, um, then I'll be able to get uh, the relic gear, which is going to be a major upgrade. Um, okay, so we'll go Camp Falcon Head, and my dog wants to come back in, so while we're transporting, I will be right back. Oh, okay, so, okay, now I'll be right back.
Alrighty, we are back, and, um, oh yeah, what were we doing? Oh yeah, we're going, uh, hey, we're going up north. So, come Argos. Yeah, that's the one we're waiting on, though, uh. Okay, uh, this goal. Ah, it's got it's pretty view. all the snow-capped mountains. I hardly believe this used to be a green verdant, like, prairie or before uh, the uh, umbral calamity hit. I wish I could have seen it firsthand that way instead of just through videos. I bet this place was freaking beautiful firsthand. Alrighty, here we go. Uh, first things first. Um, okay, we make sure we got all our abilities because we haven't uh, refreshed that in a quite substantial amount of time. That was weird. Uh, okay, so actions. Oh, I think all the stuff I have, it it's all tied to uh, other stuff in the repertoire. So I've already got my bar built. That's actually kind of frightening. Let's see if we can find anyone here. Oh, one second. Hey, they're not down here in the dungeons. Kind of glad they don't put anyone down here because they probably would have started by this point. Uh, Uh, okay, so uh, summon the carbuncle. Ah, there they are. Uh, can I talk to any of them? Oh, cool. I thought you should choose to abide in such harsh conditions. Pallid Inquisitor. You. Ah, I see you found them. Sir Emmerich. How's it all? Yes, none, none the worst for wear, I think, the Fury. My friends, forgive us if we have been given calls for alarm. We come out here concern, concerned, out of concern for your well-being. 
Though we understand why you quit the city, we fear you might have placed yourselves at greater risk by coming here. His Grace Bishop Vartanon, or two, worries for your health and prays for your swift return. So please, will you not allow us to escort you to the Holy See? I assure you, you'll be much safer there than in this wretched place. Sufferings of the Fury will never be safe in the city, don't you see? This is your fault in you in your cursed revolution. The people, dis the people disdain us, mock us behind our backs, and spit in our faces. Oh boy. And now someone is conspiring to transform us into monstrosities. Enemies of the church, I'll wager. Emboldened by your deeds. So no, I will not go back to Ishgard. I'd sooner freeze to death than suffer your pity. Oh, this guy's a bright, bright one, isn't he? What? He's turning. He's given in to despair. All I have ever done was in service to her. I am a good man. I, I do not. She cannot forsake me. Oh, by the twelve. <sighs> Completely missed that dialogue sighing. <laughs> Right, we cannot allow him to harm any others. I know, we need to go after him. Give chase and do what you must. We will remain here and keep the others calm. Agreed. Let's go. Carbuncle! Oh, he ran off that way. <laughs> I thought he ran off to the north. Alrighty, Oh, that was so freaking lucky. I should have died. Oh my god, I should have died. That was... That was spicy. And all because I am that badly injured. That and I really have no idea how to play Summoner. So I'm definitely relearning all of that. Fury, take me. What of the beast? The beast is slain, my good sir. All shall be well, my friends. Come, join me in prayer. The deed is done. Is it done, right? The deed is done. I put up a stellar fight. I thanks. What? I thanks. What happened to him is most regrettable, but we must be grateful that no one else came to harm. While you were gone. Uh, well, let me adjust this real quick so I can actually see my volume levels there. Cool. But while you were gone, the deacon was able to convince the others to return to the city. Let us escort them back at once, and then reconvene at the congregation to consider our next course of action. 
For our purposes, we where we will have for our purposes we have use of the strategy room. Announce yourself to the guard with it, or to the guard without, and he will show you in. Huh. Seems reasonable. Well, tell you how. And back to foundation. Hold on. Anywho, alrighty, uh, now that I've got that, um, oh, the chat is behind my head, um, okay, I'm gonna move, or blah, 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 move my avatar a little, we can actually see what's going on. Like, cool, so now we can actually see what's going on. And not really losing anything of, it, of note on the screen, and we can still see chat. I can just move my head over. Neat. Okay, cool. Problem solved. Problem solved. Uh, okay. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, uh, we need to go to the Forgotten Knight. Uh, Ethernet. Forgotten Knight. Let us go to the Forgotten Knight. And see what the uh, the knights have to say. Besides me. All right, simple knight god, please listen. Lord Emery cannot well or await you within the strategy room. Will you be joining them now? Yes, I shall be joining them. So I shall be joining them forthwith. Now uh, here we shall discuss our plans to deal with the blasphemy. Whensoever you wish to enter, you need but say, say so to the guard. Uh, as well, what's the situation? Uh, lest you wonder, we have taken the clergyman to St. Raymond's for rest and recover. Truth be told, the thought that they may still succumb to despair and turn remains at the forefront of my mind. Yet, the risk would be greater still were we to keep them at arm's length and deny them the comfort of the church. Indeed, from the words for the Inquisitor yearn for the days of old. He and others like him can scarcely be blamed. Since the truth of, an, of the nation's founding, the Archbishop's machinations were made public knowledge. The church has been in turmoil. Though we have made great strides in separating the religion and state, 
There has been far less progress in the reformation of the church. For our faith to have been everything to us, our purpose and our comfort, it is not an easy thing to reconcile one's beliefs with the betrayal of our spiritual leader. Thus, torn between their hearts and minds, many Ishgardians feel lost, and none more so than the members of the clergy whose faith was once unshakable. Little wonder, then, the most dedicated and devout are like to turn. So it seems, further investigation is needed ere we draw a definite conclusion. Seems reasonable. With the war's end, Ishgard has set out on a new path. The choices we make now shall determine our course for the future. Come, come on May, we dare not squander the chance we, that we have fought so hard to attain. I would agree. Once the returned clergymen have sufficiently calmed down, I shall have the deacon speak with them, that they might gain insight into their individual plight. Good. Meanwhile, I shall take the opportunity to brief my men on the most recent development. Pretty good. But pray take a moment's rest, my friend. You have earned it. When you are ready to continue our work, you may seek us out here. I got half a mil for that. So not bad, not bad. There's half a mil's a drop in the bucket. <sighs> and leveling is still not it, healer. And someone I'll need that'll probably put me over the uh, over the bar to 89, so I can get the relic gear. And look snazzy. And with 89 relic gear, I should be able to finish out most of the quests. Or for uh, blah, 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 for or for magical DPS. God, I can't remember that. But. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's actually a good spot for a question while we're waiting on the roulettes to, um, take over the bonus to healing for leveling. Hey, what was your first screen name? <laughs> um, ironically, um, it, my, my screen name actually hasn't evolved that much, believe it or not. Um, but if it was actually first Shadow 63, it... It started really as just a, a random screen name for to use on a AOL Instant Messenger, and it kind of evolved, and it turned into a Kage 63, and then for the brand, or I decided to just go ahead and roll with the character name I gave the character. It was a complete accident. So fundamentally, or my original name, or Shadow 63, is kind of stuck with me since school. It's kind of amazing that it took that long to or to evolve into something different. And it was just a complete accident that I fell into the the screen name of Ray Skino. And you know, just to kill some time, why not? Uh we're gonna go back to Scholar. Uh so in that Hey, yeah, get get some more uh, some more seals. Why not? Though I think I actually need to burn some seals, but alrighty. So um, it has been a while since I did these, but these are kind of like like loose dungeons. They're the best way I can describe them. They're they're not like actual tough dungeons, but.
Uh, yeah, I completely or did not pay attention to their most of that. Uh, alright. Alright, cool. So we're done with that. So, oh, wow. So how long have you had your, your screen name? Are we talking like a few years? Like a decade? Uh, how, or how long have you had it? So, uh, and we complete the complete the roulette, and even less is prone to healer. Yeah, that that is definitely my or my average luck. Um, alrighty, so it leaves us alliance rates, and that's it for healing bonuses. Crap. Um. Mm, we'll go with Alliance Raid. Try our luck there. Uh, last time, less than five minutes. Um, yeah, we can see what our luck is. Oh, wow. So, so it was a, or, so it was a, really your, uh, or start off as your YouTube ID and just kind of evolve from there. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of amazing how those screen names can kind of stick with us and become an, on, an online identity or of sorts. Uh, oh, I forgot the door. Oh, there it goes. Now let's see what Alliance Raid I get tossed into. The... Oh, come on, DPS. I just want to get the experience at the level 89 so I can get new gear. Hmm. Ooh. Tired of catching up. Oh my. It one DPS. Why is it always one DPS that's holding up holding up the train? Ah, there goes the DPS. Oh. Uh, let's look I'm in B. But being a level 80 raid, I am not, I am not all that bad off gear wise, so cool. Uh, but I didn't expect to actually have a real raid on my hands. Oh, but here we go. Chaos speak. You know, this actually is one of the games that is going to be in the rotation at some point. Um, near Automata. But machines don't have life. So that's an oxymoron. Um, I think these machine life forms have begged to differ. Oh boy, I am probably going to die quite a bit on this one just because it has been that long since I've done this one. And I don't really remember all the mechanics.
Uh oh. Uh, you gotta concentrate here, so... Uh. Okay, good. Phew. I don't know how I'm missing all this stuff. <laughs> Thank God for sure, Cass. Oof. Whoa. Uh And that gear is some of the best looking gear in the game, in my opinion, so I will happily take it. Proper care gear wear is reduced. It's like it goes on, like, forever. Would you look at that! I mean, it is a beautiful environment. 
definitely, I definitely like the way the Nier raids look. And eventually, we will be playing Nier Automata proper on stream and not just going through the, the Alliance raid. Is everything I've heard about Nier Automata is the game story and what happens here are totally different things. Like, it almost makes no sense. For a second there, I thought this said small bicep, and like, it's a robot, it's gonna have a small bicep. Multi-leg medium model. I'm not sure why they just didn't call it a spider model, you know? past that okay yeah I actually did not expect to get a longer raid <laughs> but I expected to probably get for the uh, the level 50 one which is really short but as over geared as most people are now they just literally just plow through it and ignore all the mechanics because when you're like 90 item levels higher than or adjusted than what the raid originally called for like why even bother with it, you know? You just, oh, Pain Buster? Ah, no problem. Everyone just stand in it, take it. Got like two points of damage. <laughs> and, oh, I just realized, oh, we're up Alliance A? Am I healing that good? I don't think my healing is that good. Maybe it's just luck? Volunteers detected are welcome. I'm in seeing assessment. What do we do on this one? Oh, right. I'm not used to actually having to do mechanics. This raid is still pretty tough, even at level. They haven't massively overgeared it yet. Another. Our uh, Evalus? It's not like damage heavy, but it is definitely mechanic heavy. Out of the circle, cool. Oh, I don't think I've ever been in 
or B, because I do not remember what their mechanics are. And this is unique, like each, I just noticed each platform has different mechanics. And that's actually really freaking cool. Hey, come to think of it, we still haven't done the weekly alliance raid. Well, we, I don't know if we're going to do that tonight or not. So uh, it's getting about 9 o'clock, so we might end stream a tad early, being on being a Monday. Whoa. Uh, Swift cast res. God, I love white mages. <laughs> Uh, they may not be the top healer in the tier, but man, are they healers? I actually like playing. I, I need to level mine up, but I want to get this out of the way first so I can have my summoner. Yeah, let, let the white mage or swift cast or swift cast the red mage this time. Woohoo! Got it. Now, now we do a tumble. Oh, the gloves of aiming dropped. Nice. Oh my god! And the trousers of casting. Yep. Oh my god. My. If I get that, it will be literally pure R IRL luck, because my RNG sucked. I rolled a 2! Like, how is that even possible? Like, statistically, there are a whole bunch more numbers higher than that I should be able to roll. Uh, I, I guess I burned all my luck on the, uh, on the bird. <laughs>
At least. I think we got two more bosses after this, one of which is on like a big ass platform. I don't know. That's blue. Come on, flight unit. You, you want to take a nap? You can go back to home base. There you go. I don't know how you flew through the rafters that easily, but. Oh, that's it? Really? That That's it? We. What? Um. Eh. Uh, okie dokie. Oh, this guy. And yep, that is definitely machine life. Very, very large machine life, but still machine life. Holy cow, that thing is big. Boy, yep, I definitely do not remember this fight. <laughs> remember, this guy is big, mean, and not pleasant. What the?
I get that near one's going down, that's it, the far one. Release it. And bam. <laughs> Whoop. Ah! Oh, Saul's on the side of the head. Not good, not good. I can't believe that. I'll remain still. Or about crushing convinces. How about I don't remain still and we don't do the crushing hating thing?
Split, 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 please, split, oh. Okay, good, they did split. Whew. Looks like we are about to cross. Yep, we are under 8%, so if someone wanted to LB. And speaking of the devil, someone LB'd. Oh, that red mage LB. That's not the... I will agree on all that because I don't know what I have and what I don't have. Alright, and... That's not final? What? Huh? What? Oh, right, 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 right. That's so tough enough to be the final boss, but apparently... Oh yeah, remember, it's uh, Tank Boy. He comes back. <laughs> it just feels good to actually be able to stream that in Cody here. Like that's that's the biggest thing I'm taking away from this whole stream. Fairy does not trigger anything. Sweet! Uh, good old hydrate. And we'll go over to the side. And we're gonna sweep up because this place is filthy. I don't think that's snow. That, that, that kind of reminds me more of uh, ash and soot. The root, the root, the root is on fire. 24, 24 ready. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, this one has like the lanes you have to dance between uh, during strafing runs. Me. What, do, what do? What do? He's hacking in, in That means I'm gonna saw off half of it. Ah! Yar! Yar! Right, right in the eye.
And there goes Tank Boy again. And strafing around to the left and right, left, center. He's probably going to do opposite of that. Yeah, it's not that this fight's particularly tough, it's just a very mechanic heavy. So I have to keep track of where everything is at, or and relearn how to heal is kind of a big thing for me. Nah! What do? Okay. Ooh. Okay, the AoE drop is not as bad as getting caught in AoE. Tank boy's taking off again. Oh nope, he's he's doing big thing. Okay, so we, we take out this guy. Timbers. Walking Fortress. Oh my god, that dude is actually named Discord Kitten. <laughs>
What do? All right, got my level up. I swear I had the 9S card. But I will need on it. And I do have both of those minions, so I'll pass on both of those. Let's already have that gear set. Uh, need yes, on that. I actually did need that one, so I do not need that one. So cool. So we need, so there shouldn't be anything left to roll on, cool. Uh, with that, I'm out of here. And that means level 89, which means we can go get new gear. Uh -huh. Alrighty, so... Oh, no, 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 Charlie and I gotta go to. My bad, my bad. Alrighty, let's get this relic here and see what it looks like. <laughs> because level 89 is new gear for both healing and summoning. Ooh. Alrighty, and ooh, this is actually a pretty high population, so there is a tiny bit of lag here. Okay, and Tataru's Emporium. Oh. Uh, so... First, we're definitely doing the, the Scholar thing. And it's all academic stuff. Uh, oh, the academics clubs. Die back. Oh, right, 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 right. Did I? No uh, way, I had to have gotten the Didact stuff. Oh, right, uh, just because I got it, uh, it's in inventory and not like here. So. Alrighty, now it looks like a proper scholar. Now, to do the summoning thing. Uh, magical range DPS. 
it all this is going to be freaking amazing because I have not done any of this stuff or for a uh, magical DPS before Convoker's coat Invoker's gloves Invoker's trousers Invoker's thigh boots Alrighty Oh, I forgot the Convoker's gloves or those in my inventory I hate I hate when my inventory is too full Oh, that would actually be good samurai gear. But, oh man, oh man, oh man. That looks a whole lot better than it did. Now that looks like a proper summoner. And there is my carbuncle. Good Tarbuncle and Starbird. I like that combo. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. Uh, so, uh, with that, uh, we're going to call it a night here. And I would say that's mission accomplished. Uh, went probably about a half hour longer than I really would like to, but that rate was totally worth it. Getting to level 89 means I'll be able to or hit the goal I want to tomorrow or a little after stream and we'll, we will have a level 90 magical DPS which is going to be freaking awesome alrighty so uh, because I need to go directly to modly duties um, we're going to go ahead and raid Red Sonia and so let's see what she's playing tonight uh, do, 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 do. In the meantime, listen to the awesome music that is Charlian. Oh, she is doing Ninja Gaiden. That is going to be pretty awesome to watch. Alrighty, so with that, uh, we're going to set up the raid here in just a second. And I hope to see you guys all in uh, red stream. Let's uh, give her some uh, Earth Giants after all that uh, not-so-friendly business yesterday. And with that, I will see you uh, tomorrow night for Metroid Dread. It'll be our first Switch stream. So that should be pretty interesting. Hopefully it goes uh, pretty smoothly with the hardware. I have not used it for a while, so we will, you'll definitely be seeing. So with that, I shall see you all tomorrow night. Thanks, and have a good night.